the controversial Confederate statue in Manatee County will be taken down. A decision was made today by county commissioners. That decision comes after a protest in front of the statue just last night, debating whether the statue should stay or go. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live from the Manatee County Administrative Building where today's commission meeting took place with more on their decision. Jess? Good afternoon, Haley and Scott. Commissioners decided to take down the Confederate statue now, then decide where it will go later. It was not an easy decision for the commissioners to make today, and that was obvious by the four to three vote. The debate was heated from the very beginning. In 1924, county commissioners voted to put up the Confederate statue. Today, 93 years later, some commissioners felt it was the board's decision to vote to take it down. Others felt that the commissioners can't make that decision for the 363,000 residents in Manatee County. They wanted to put the issue as a referendum on the 2018 ballot. But in the end, commissioners took a vote, ultimately worried about the public safety and more protests. Sheriff Rick Wells says the Manatee County Sheriff's Office spent about twenty to $30,000 on protecting the community during Monday's protest. There's no word on who will pay for the move. There was yet another debate over whether or not taxpayer dollars will be used to do it. Commissioners saying they're willing to write $500 checks apiece, also mentioning a possible GoFundMe account. I obviously am firmly in favor of moving this. I believe we would not have had the issues where we had to close buildings. You want to talk about costs. We had people that were all sent home. They couldn't work. And we think that's just going to go away until November 18. We can just ignore this and let the people decide. Now, there's no timetable as to when the Confederate statue will come down. That's still up in the air at this point. It could end up in storage for a little bit of time, but there will be a public hearing, a date not yet set, so the public can put their input in about where they'd like to see the statue go. Reporting live in Bradenton, Jess Aldrich, ABC7, your Suncoast News.